Hey everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Malachi. I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker Coastal Alliance. And I just wanted to come on here and make a video for everybody. Since I've been getting a lot of phone calls, DMs, texts, asking me about the real estate market during this pandemic. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if I think we're gonna be headed into a economic recession and things of that nature. And I just want everybody to know that I don't know. And honestly, nobody knows. Nobody has a crystal ball. Uh, when I was little, I had that little magic eight ball and I would shake it, ask it a question, and they would always tell me, try again later. <laughs> but anyways, um, if you know me, you know that I like numbers. Numbers are black and white. It tells the truth, right? There's no wrong answer when you're solving an equation. It's either yes or no, one, two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, I just wanted to jump on here and give you guys some numbers, let you know what's currently happening in the market, specifically how many new houses are going up for sale in the last seven days. And I'm specifically doing it seven days just so we get a week out and you get a better understanding. I know during these times, daily things are changing, right? Every time you turn on the news, it's something new. And actually, just two days ago, three days ago, I believe Thursday or Friday of last week, um, being a realtor is now um, an essential business. And so we're business as usual. So before I go on, if you do have any questions or have any concerns, please feel free to call me, text me, email, DM me right here on Instagram. Um, but anyways, let's go on. So I'm going to do four cities. And these are pretty much the four major cities uh, that I normally work in, starting with Lakewood. So in the last seven days, the city of Lakewood has seen nine new listings. And currently there's pending 81. And when I say pending, that means houses that are currently in escrow moving forward to close. In Cerritos, there are two new houses for sale in the past seven days with 33 pending. And again, Cerritos is relatively small, right? So I mean, it's not, two is still a pretty good number uh, for the city of Cerritos. Moving on to my Inland Empire people, Rancho Cucamonga, 30 new houses for sale in the past seven days. And over 200 pending in Rancho Cucamonga. And last but not least, Riverside, 53 new houses for sale in the last seven days with, I think, over 300 pending. Um, and again, that, that doesn't tell us when they opened escrow and when they're going to close. But again, that's just currently what's happening in the market. So you decide what, how you feel about those numbers. I mean, I think those are great for everything that's happening and everything that's going on. It's fantastic that real estate is still moving forward. Do we have concerns? For some people, yes, strategically speaking, um, investors, uh, short-term buyers, things of that nature. Um, so if you do have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to me. You can call me, text me, DM me here. Um, and again, I think if I get a good response from this, I'll continue to do this every so often, maybe once a week. And uh, drop me a message right there and let me know. Let me know if this is something that you found interesting, if you thought that was cool. And uh, if you do want to know anything else, just let me know. Thanks, guys.